Hello Movie Mavens! Welcome back to another video on the B Movies channel. My name is Bailey and I put the B in movies. So first and foremost, I want to give such a huge thank you to Vintage 8 for sharing our video from last week on their community tab. Thank you so much. That was so sweet. You didn't have to do that at all. And so with that being said, I think a little reintroduction is in order because I know we have some new subscribers, we have some new some new movie mavens in the mix. So if you are new around here, hello, my name is Bailey and B Movies and the B Movies channel, it's a continuation of the B Movies blog. And this is a project that I do with one of my best friends, Elliot. I write the pieces, I do the YouTube videos that tie into the blog. And Elliot is my editor. We collaborate on everything together. She's going to be the leader of our upcoming book club. And then I run our social. So welcome. I am so happy to have you here. And yeah, just, just again, thank you so much Vintage 8. And thank you to everyone who is new here. We're so excited to have you. And I am looking forward to sharing more content with all of you. So for those who are new, we are going to get started with a blog roundup. Like I said, we're a continuation of the B-Movies blog. We post on the B-Movies blog Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. CST. We post daily on our Instagram account, which is just at B-Movies channel, same as our YouTube. And you can find those pieces through the links in our stories and bio over on that Instagram account. I also do every Saturday around like 8 or 9 a.m. CST. On my personal Instagram, I do a weekly roundup over there. So in the videos, we always start out with a blog roundup, which are the five pieces of the week. And then traditionally, I know last week was a little bit different of a video. So again, thank you to people who subscribed. And also just thank you for all the nice comments and support for um, just for us and for me. I know that several of you also said you're not having a great start to the year. So I am so sorry that you're going through that and obviously just know you are not alone because my year had a very rocky start as well. So again, thank you so much for all the kind words. So like I said, traditionally in our videos, one of these blogs from the roundup will be a deep dive and that will be the, the deep dive for our deep dive section. This week, um, I have a really good one for you. I'm very excited. So let's go ahead and get started. So on Monday, we talked about fantasy movies. I know I'm not a big fantasy girly, I know, but there are just a couple of movies like Stardust and Penelope and things in that vein that I really enjoy, and so I wanted to share those with you. On Tuesday, we talked about zombies. I'm not the biggest fan of zombie movies. I just think that unless you have a really unique perspective, that it's just a really easy genre to fall into tropes. But I did give y'all some really good zombie content and we knew that we had to cover zombies eventually. Let's just be real. And so let's go ahead and in 2024, let's knock it out. On Wednesday, we talked about TV based horror movies like Stay Tuned. And I really like that piece because it gave me another chance like with last week when we did the Cup of Fear where it was like the fake um, horror masked maniacs coffee orders. I really like, again, I grew up on crack.com and a lot of satirical websites and I just have some comedy writing in my background. And so I love being able to do these pieces now where I can throw a little bit of that, of that piece of me in. Uh, yesterday we talked about horror scenes that bother me. These are pretty self-explanatory. They're just, I feel like we all have those movie scenes, whether it be horror or, or not just out of, out of film in general that just kind of stick with you. These are the horror scenes that bother me. Not a lot bothers me, not a lot sticks with me. And it's usually like stuff I can't quite explain that does. And so that's why I wanted to share those scenes with y'all. And then today, which is also our deep dive, we are talking about Not Your Normal Kids show. And I know I'm a little late to covering this, but I just wanted to get a little bit more story and make sure that the just make sure that there was more to to discuss. So we're going to dive into that a little bit more in our deep dive. So just as a recap, 
this week over on the B-Movies blog. And for those who are new, long story short, I cut micro bangs last January. They are growing out. So me swiping my bangs, this is a normal thing in videos. So please know, I'm sorry. I It's probably so annoying, but just roll with it. <laughs> We're just rolling with it because yes, I know my bangs would have fully grown out because I had like eyebrow level bangs. If I had not micro banged them, they would have fully grown out. I know you live and you learn. <laughs> so this is, please no, this, please get normal. Please, this, please normalize that and me touching my glasses. That's, that's who I am as a person. And I, I can't help it. Also, for those who don't know, these are just blue light glasses. I, I think some people get shocked sometimes. These, I don't have glasses. I don't need glasses. These are just blue light glasses. So fun fact <laughs> for those who are new. So just to recap, this week over on B-Movies, we have fantasy movies, zombies, TV-based horror, horror scenes that bother me, and Not Your Normal Kid Show. All of those can be found just over on bmovies.blog, which will also always be in the description box below. So next up, we have Bite Size Sundays, which again, if you're new, Bite Size Sundays are Instagram exclusive reviews, so you can only find them on our Instagram, again, at B-Movies channel, just like our YouTube handle. And it's a piece of content that... I want to talk about, but I don't quite have enough to say for a full piece. And so you get the teasers here exclusively. I say teasers lightly. Again, the example I give, it's like Hannibal Lecter giving Clarice Starling <laughs> a hint. They are not straightforward. They're very convoluted. I just think they're fun. <laughs> and then you can find that review over on Instagram only. We don't put those on the blog. So today's Bite Size Sunday hint is who's that guy? It's Nick and oh my god he's playing the most dangerous game. So that is your Bite Size Sunday teaser. Uh, definitely check that out over on our Instagram. Those are posted between 8 and 9 a.m. CST and it will be posted this week. So we do hand on Friday, post on Sunday. So now let's get to the deep dive of our video which is going to be not your normal kid show. And for those who are unfamiliar, this is an ongoing series. It started, it was exclusively on TikTok originally, I believe, which I think is the other reason that I didn't cover it because I don't have a TikTok. I'm making one for B-movies. It's coming, I promise, but I don't currently have a TikTok. And now you can find all of them on YouTube as well. And so Not Your Normal Kids Show is created by uh, BB Key. And it's so good. It's so good. And I know we're late to covering this, but like I said, I wanted to get a little more story, a little more foundation. And episode 15 actually just dropped a couple of days ago. So I think this is a serendipitous moment and I think we're picking the perfect time to talk about it. And so we don't go episode by episode in the piece that dropped today. If y'all want me to cover episode by episode in a future video, let me know. I just know that a lot of creators that I love, like for example, Loie Lane, she has a really good two-part coverage of it. And I feel like there's been so much said about it that me doing like a deep dive on every single episode, I don't know if I would be contributing more than what's already been said. And so that's why we kind of go in a more generalized direction in the blog. But I will, like with Greylock and um, Midwest Angelica and the other things that we cover on this channel, I will cover new episodes moving forward after this week, just because it was our deep dive. So, again, if y'all want me to go episode by episode, I can. Just let me know. But I just really don't know what I could contribute that hasn't already been said. Um, so the general overview is that Not Your Normal Kids Show is hosted by Dottie, who's a mime that doesn't quite seem to be what she appears. She has a very sunny demeanor and seemingly wants to be your friend, but it's very clear there are other forces at play. And in fact, the entire universe of not your normal kid show is just that it, it's abnormal from like scuttering humanoid creatures to mother to tall man 
we're met with all these hellacious characters as Dottie's environment seems to glitch and distort throughout the series. Someone is trying to tell us to stop watching. In the intros, you'll see the font will start to crack from its regular colorful block lettering. Words like liar and manipulator will commonly flash throughout episodes. There are episodes where we arrive early and catch Dottie caught up in some truly dastardly deeds. Um, the one thing I do want to put on your radar, and we talked about this in the piece as well, episode seven, pay very close attention to the contents of the chalkboard behind Dottie and look for some numbers throughout. And that's, that's all I will say. So I have some theories as well about the universe, but I'm going to keep those in the piece. I'm going to make you work for it a little bit. Uh, so check it over on, check it out over on bmovies.blog. I do want to leave you with some questions though, just to keep in mind, but please like, please go subscribe to BB Key. Please watch this series. It's so good. And episode 15, I gasped, gasped at the end. So definitely go watch it. You can get through all of these videos just in, in an hour or so, and it's worth it. Please, again, please subscribe to BB Key. Please like her videos. Please comment on her videos. Please engage, please engage with her content because this is wonderful. And I really do, if this series is drawing to a close, which there hasn't been any like announcement or anything, I really do hope that we get another arc or that she continues to make content. I know that BB Key also has another series called Detective You that is out right now. Um, the first episode's up. It's very, it's a very cool concept. It's, if you watched things like Crash Box on HBO and you had like interactive detective computer, computer games, it's very similar to that vibe. And what I think she's doing is letting the audience decide on the different interviews and suspects and things like that. I think it's a very cool concept. And so I definitely recommend checking her channel out. I will link her channel below as well. And like I said, please give her a follow. Anytime I talk about a creator, I will always link their channel below. Please give them a follow. Please go interact with their content because if you're new here, if you've heard me say it before, you know I say it all the time, but if you're new here, one of my favorite phrases is YouTube is the future of horror or the future of horror is YouTube. And it's so true. It's so true. And I just think this series is wonderful. So after you've watched it, um, go over, check out the blog. Definitely, definitely watch it first and, uh, read through my theories, but I'll just, just to kind of bait you some things to keep in mind while you're watching. Why and what do you think the colors in Dottie's, the changes in Dottie's eye color represent? Who is Tall Man? Do you think Dottie is good or evil? And finally, do you think Dottie is the puppet or the puppet master? I would also love to hear your theories in the comments below. Uh, just be sure if you are going to talk about something deep within the series, please give a spoiler warning just up top so that those who are, um, who want to watch the series first, don't accidentally read a spoiler. That's all I ask. And so that is not your normal kid show. I think it's wonderful. <laughs> I think it's so good. And BB Key is just like a very talented makeup artist just at base level. But like this is, my friend, this is wonderful. Like this series is so good. It's so creepy while still hitting that nostalgia of the kid shows we grew up with, like on Nick Jr. and Noggin and things in that vein. Um, but I think the series is wonderful. And I think that... <laughs> You're doing a wonderful job and I'm really excited to see what comes next. So next up, we have our segment called Special Features. So Special Features, it's dedicated to things like updates on what we're doing today, Married with a Sleepwalker. We're going to cover video five. Um, it's where we talk about our favorite, our updates on like horror analog series, horror ARG series, or sometimes it's just a segment where I talk about something that we haven't written about yet on the site. We may not write about. It may just be a discussion topic, but it's, we call it special features because it's something you only get here 
on the channel uh, because the only pieces that we update regularly are the Welcome Home piece and the Project Earth piece and Liminal Land. And so like with Greylock and things, we only write general overview so you can only find my commentary over here on YouTube. <laughs> Hence, special features. So today we are talking about Mary to a Sleepwalker video five. Who, who, who? I'm so excited. I was going to cover, we will talk about video six next week because at the time of recording this video six is out, but I want to do it separately. I think that's the best way to talk about these so that way it also gives y'all a little bit of time to catch up if you're behind. So let's get to it, Mary to a Sleepwalker video five. So we start with an email from Mary Q, who is the same person that suggested the padlock test at Daniel, where they put a padlock on the door, hide the key, and see if Shelly can find it when she's sleepwalking. Mary knows Shelly found the key, and Daniel's just baffled. And he responds to Mary's email and asks if her husband also found the key. And Mary is really cryptic in her response and says that her husband found the key, but she's not ready to talk. So then Dr. Lopez calls Daniel and Shelly. At the end of video four, Daniel had mentioned that they had a video call scheduled. And he agrees that um, Shelly's new symptoms are troublesome. And I'm like, you don't say. <laughs> you don't say, my friend. And he begins to ask Shelly how she feels. She, very similar to video three, I believe. She says she's always tired. And he decides to up her sleep med medication. He wants her to, Dr. Lopez like wants her to check in with a nurse if she has any new symptoms or if anything changes. And he also wants her to stop her fertility meds. Which if you're like, that's kind of weird. Just wait. So then he starts acting, like Dr. Lopez starts, in my opinion, starts acting suspicious as hell. And asks her like... How they have the footage that they have, like how they have uh, basically amassed the footage that they have, tells her to follow instructions when she's arguing with him about her fertility meds. And then he just really begins to inquire about all of the cameras and like question why Daniel and Shelly are recording everything and goes as far to say that the cameras could be worsening her condition. And Dr. Lopez advises them to stop recording. And then Daniel begins to question how Shelly continuously finds the key. Because you can also tell that they, they think something's off here. And so Dr. Lopez tries to explain it away and essentially just basically says sometimes it'd be like that. Like, in essence. And he's just adamant about them following these directions about, like, stopping recording, stopping her fertility meds. And then the call ends and Daniel and Shelly are clearly upset with him. If memory serves, Daniel like straight up calls him an asshole. And so Shelly says something weird like our, our, our favorite girl does and says that things are beyond Dr. Lopez and that uh, she needs to start listening to what's going on, aka listening to the voices in her head. Which I, I don't know about that show, but you do, you, do you girl. Um, so then we cut to Shelly and she's like doing a skincare routine and she's talking to herself in a bathroom mirror, which like me every, every morning. And she tells the voice, the voice or voices that she's listening. And then she's like, I, she, she believes she knows what it is. Daniel then receives another email from Mary Q. And tells him basically not to trust anyone, but ironically says to trust her. Which will lead to a, to a couple of my theories that we'll get to in a second. So then we see Shelly's in bed and an alarm goes off. And she pushes this like giant dresser um, in front of the door. And we go back to Daniel, who's in the office. And we get another big reveal in this video, which confirms a suspicion of mine. It's believed that... LV, the Livingston virus that Daniel had, um, that, that's starting to, to spike, is a mutation of the Tangy virus, which I called it. I knew, I knew. And I think that this also confirms, if you remember in Itch, 
And again, Vintage 8, don't tell me. I'm like, tell me, but don't tell me. In Itch, Prophet mentions that the condition in Itch is a test for another virus. I believe that Livingston is that virus that Prophet is alluding to. And I've theorized this before, and this just kind of... I believe by confirming that it is a mutation of the Tangy virus, I think that it confirms that theory. I think this is what Prophet was talking about. That itch was basically like the preface to Livingston. That's what I believe. And I believe that like when in the last video when that doctor, I believe it was the last video, when the doctor was talking about like how everyone would be a carrier or would be... I, I think this is all the same. I think it's all the same language. And it just, it mim it mirrors and mimics everything Prophet was saying. So that's my theory there. So then our focus goes back to Shelly, who grabs a knife from the dresser as Daniel is watching her on camera from their office. And then she cuts her arm open and some sort of, at least from what I saw and what I interpreted, it's some sort of slug-like creature falls out. Not feeling great about that. And so then that's when Daniel, like, finally goes to intervene. And he tries to open the bedroom door. When then he hears footsteps running on the roof. The roof! I was like... Hands then begin to cover each external camera one by one. And then Shelly looks into the bedroom camera and tells Daniel she believes they're being attacked as this, what I'm, again, interpreting to be a bright light, starts emanating from the corner. Daniel finally breaks into the bedroom and the dresser is fully moved back to where it was and Shelly's gone. And then Daniel runs outside screaming Shelly's name. And that's where the video ends. And Vintage 8, again, you know that we love you over here. I'm so stoked to see how this all comes together. I know that I don't know how many videos are left, but I feel like we are like getting to the climax or we're on the precipice of a finale or we're really going to start getting to the meat and potatoes. And I just, I think you're doing a wonderful job with, I don't know if it, this is necessarily a slow burn, but the pacing of these episodes is great because like I've said, from video one, I was in. And so again, you know, we love you over here. Thank you again for sharing us with your community tab. Everybody, please go follow Vintage 8. Please watch this series. Please watch any of their series. If you're looking for some recommendations, some of my favorites are It Lives in the Static, Sinkhole, and uh, their most recent series, Itch, which made my skin truly want to fall off my body. So my theories are, for Mary to a Sleepwalker, I think Mary may be Oracle. I don't know if Mary is a real person or if Mary is Oracle. My second theory to that is that Mary is the older woman from It Lives in the Static. That's my other theory. And then my last theory is I think Dr. Lopez is fully in on it. I think that's why he wants her to stop her fertility meds. I think that he is one of the people that Mary was specifically mentioning to not trust. And so that's where I am. So let me know y'all series below. That's where I am on everything. Uh, so next up we have subtitles, which is, these are just little pieces of news from around the internet. Think of them as like the things you would share to your Instagram stories, like new film announcements, new casting announcements, just things like that that I think are fun and worth mentioning. But again, there's just like one or two sentences behind them. So first up, Caitlin Deaver, who I adore. If you have not watched No One Will Save You, go watch it. It was one of my favorite horror movies of 2023. And it barely got edged out of one of my favorite movies of 2023. But Anatomy of a Fall just barely bumped it out. And so I just, I adore Caitlin Deaver. I can't think of anything she's been in that I don't like. I'm so excited for her to be Abby in The Last of Us. I think it's going to be great. I know that Abby is kind of a divisive character, but I think Kaylin Deaver's great. In sad news, 
our flag means de- I'm I'm not Catholic at all. Like, please no. Um, our flag means death has unfortunately been canceled after two seasons. Um, I love that show. I think both seasons are wonderful. I that show has made me cry so hard. Um, but sadly, it um has been canceled. And also in that same news, um, Shining Veil has also been canceled and has will be removed from stars if it hasn't been already. And uh, Minx has also been canceled. So some big, some big all around bummers. I know there's a lot of canceling happening right now. Um, those are just the three that are at the top of my mind. But hopefully we'll get some more content. It always sucks when good shows are canceled. But say la vie. Um, and I hope that everyone involved in those shows, like, Shining Veil was wonderful. If you didn't watch Shining Veil, I hope they're going to do a DVD release, because it's, it's like Grease Rise of the Pink Ladies, which I will still, that's one I, I will never understand. We wrote about it over on the B-Movies blog. I will never understand why that show was canceled, because it was so, so, so good. Uh, but it's, these, these series are getting wiped off these streamers, and I don't know if they're going to get a physical media release. But Shining Veil was wonderful. I thought it was wonderful. So, sad times. But we have to move on. But RIP to some good ones. Uh, Danny Boyle will be directing and Alex Garland will be writing the script for 28 years later. Which may be the start of a new trilogy for the series, question mark. But that is the rumor. Uh, the title, trailer, and poster for the untitled Radio Silence Monster movie has been revealed. Abigail is slated to hit theaters on April 19th. And I'll link the trailer in the description box. I think it looks great. And it has one of... I, I personally believe... And, like, we all know I'm queer. But, um... But sometimes I am also still attracted to men. Um... It has one of the most attractive men in it, which I believe Dan Stevens is one of the most attractive men alive. Just me, poisonally. And so I'm very excited for Abigail. I think it looks wonderful. Uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal is allegedly directing a remake of Bride and Frankenstein that is allegedly going to start production this March. Super stoked about that. I think that's, I, I can definitely see that being wonderful. Uh, David Gordon Green will not be directing Exorcist Deceiver, and the release date has been removed. We talked about, um, I did a full review of Exorcist Believer that is exclusive a couple of videos ago. Definitely check that out. Uh, I am not surprised. I'm, I'm not surprised with how, how that movie just had so much potential. There were so many cool things we could have done. I'm, I'm really not surprised. Between that and Halloween Ends, I'm not surprised. David Gordon Green, please stop breathing. <laughs> please. We're begging you. And then finally, for this week of subtitles, see, I already have stuff for next week's subtitles because they, they're just announcing stuff so fast right now. It's just rapid fire. Um, I'm saving a few announcements. You can probably guess a couple of them for next week's video. Uh, but we're finally getting another Fear Street movie, and I'm so excited. Uh, Netflix is adapting R.L. Stein's book, The Prom Queen, the big thing to note here is it's not a continuation of the existing trilogy. I could definitely see them throwing in some Easter eggs, though. Um, but I'm very excited because I thought the Fear Street trilogy, for those who don't know, I love the Fear Street trilogy. I think it's wonderful. And so I feel like if this movie goes in a similar direction, it will also be great. So, yeah, I think that is going to do us for this week's video. Excuse me. Uh, so let's go ahead and wrap it on up. Thank you again, Vintage 8, for sharing us in your community tab. Appreciate you more than you will ever know. Um, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Lisa underscore Frankenstein underscore. And yes, that was my handle years before the movie. I had one of my friends joke with me the other day and I was like, no, that was my handle years before. I'm so excited about the movie. It's one of my most anticipated releases, but that has been my Instagram handle for like seven years. Anyway, so follow me over on Instagram at Lisa underscore Frankenstein underscore. Be sure to follow Elliot over on Instagram, just reading dot with dot red. Be sure to follow us over on Instagram at B Movies Channel, same as our YouTube. 
Uh, subscribe to the Bee Movies blog, bmovies.blog. You can get those sent straight to your inbox. Those drop Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. CST. And then we post them every afternoon around 4.30 or 5 CST on our Instagram. And be sure to subscribe to this channel. Be sure to like our videos if you feel so inclined. Be sure to leave a comment. Um, everything is free. And I think that will do us for this video. Uh, we will, again, I will be talking about uh, Married to a Sleepwalker video six in next week's video. So stay tuned for that just so you have a little time to catch up. And yeah, I think with that, all that's left to do is fade to black.